Hi guys, good morning. I know I have not been on here in a while. Just want to say hello, hello, hello. So um, I just realized I actually had recorded a preview um, earlier this week for the class I was going to be teaching and forgot to post it on here. So I guess it just means that y'all are just going to get this impromptu video. Um, because we are actually introducing, we're launching a new print on Monday. You don't want to miss it. So for those of you who have reached out to me asking when next we're going to have the Galaxy Shower Bonnet print. Well, we don't have a, a Galaxy Shower Bonnet print, but we do have a new print, which is similar, but different and just as beautiful. So come along with me. All right, so um, I know there's been a lot going on, and if you have been following me, you, you, uh, you might have noticed that I posted um, a while ago, a few days ago, um, actually yesterday, I think, about a uh, TikTok video I did. I, I'm still pretty shocked that someone flagged that as um, uh, for integrity and authenticity, and I'm like, yo, I am making these bonnets live online, like... I don't think there's anything more authentic than, authentic than that, okay? So, um, yeah, that was interesting. I guess some folks just like to be jealous, which is fine, to each his own. I just don't have that much energy to give to that kind of foolishness. Um, so, a lot of things have been going on. Um, today, I'm actually having our first in-person class. Yay! I'm going to be teaching an in-person class um, for I Sew With Joy. If you haven't visited, please check out the site, I Sew With Joy.com. Um, so I, I do offer in person classes. If you want to learn how to make hair flowers, like the one I have up there right now, um, that's on that site. You can actually, you can either do a class with me and take a private class to make one, or you can just buy, uh, purchase the uh, instructions, which I also have available on the site. So, you know, you have many options there as far as, um, the class gift. Anyways, um, so there, there, there's going to be other things that are available. I also will be doing um, a class on making your scrunchie, making hair scrunchies. I have so many hair scrunchies. And um, we actually just yesterday um, introduced a new satin light. And I say satin light because I want, don't come for me. It's made with... Um, polyester but it's satin like because it's soft and smooth and almost like satin has a little bit of the shine you would get or the shine you would get um, with satin um, for African print uh, uh, scrunchies so I'm going to share that uh, video as well. I mean not a video but the photo with you guys as well so that you can take a look at it so we got lots of exciting stuff going on I sew with joy uh, we're going to have classes this afternoon at 2 o'clock. I'm nervous, but excited. Um, it's our first in-person class. Uh, with COVID, it also means that I'll be wearing a mask and talking for two hours. So let's hope that all my workouts have paid off. <laughs> and I'm able to, you know, get my oxygen in as I continue to talk for two hours. Uh, we also have some pretty exciting projects. But actually, every class is going to involve, because this is going to be a monthly thing. Um, it's Saverna Park Community Center. So if you're in Maryland and you're in Anne Arundel County, or somewhere close by that would be this is something that we're going to be doing every um second saturday of the month i am going to be teaching a class at saverna park community center um in person so you just have to sign up by a uh, website so that you can register but you can also come there and register at the door um we will take some extra machines i don't know if you can see uh, right behind me but i have prepped all the materials i'll be using for class later on today so um you don't even need to bring anything just come with yourself that's all we need. You just got to show up and we'll do the project in class. We'll walk through it step by step. You can ask questions. That's the great thing about in-person classes. You can ask questions. Um, but again, I understand that not everyone is a social butterfly. I, um, for one, kind of have a preference. I prefer to send emails to ask questions as opposed to doing it all in public like that, you know, so or putting people on the spot. I feel like a lot of times when you ask an instructor, like what you might, what, what might be considered a challenging question, you're kind of like putting them on the spot. And it's not a challenge for me I just want to have the answer so if you want private classes um that's an option as well anyways um so we have those exciting stuff I have been doing a lot more videos and woohoo thank you to TikTok for re uh, reinstating my video 
Uh, so, uh, so that's if, you, if you're not following us on TikTok, it's printedbonnet.com. I mean, I'm sorry, just printed bonnet. And if you um, want more tips and tutorials, we do offer quite a few tips on our ISO with Joy page as well. Um, actually, we have a, a good size following there on TikTok, so check us out. Um, and you'll see a lot of tips, including what sewing machines I recommend. Now, I, I will say I have a video on our on the ISO with Joy site where I say I, rec I highly recommend the CS6000, still recommend it. As a matter of fact, all the machines I have for students are CS600, I mean CS6000. And the reason for that is because those machines are just so easy to use. Um, they're, so, they're not heavy weight. Um, they're, they're, good si they're good weight, and you can use them for making... Um, quilts and different things like that so it, it's a machine it's what I would consider a grow with me machine as far as it, you can use it as a beginner beginner and as you get better you can continue to use it now so as not to sound like a hypocrite that is not the machine I use on a daily basis and I'll tell you why the reason I don't use the CS6000 on a daily basis is because um I actually wanted a machine on my, like I have the one machine that I use daily and it's on my desk and because uh, my work desk, uh, my craft desk, because I redid my office and all, you know, so I got to give it the right term. But anyways, um, because I make bonnets primarily and some of our bonnets have embroidery on them, the machine I have is the SE400, uh, which is an embroidery and sewing machine. So it has a dual function, um, which the CS6000 does not have. Embroidery is not something that I would say you can just pick up as a beginner. Um, you have to, I mean, which is not to say you can't do it. You might have to just do a, watch a few more YouTube videos and try to teach yourself. And there's a lot of practice that goes into it. As a matter of fact, I have some pieces that I um, learned to embroider with. And, um, but they weren't perfect the first time around. So I would say that it takes a little bit of experience um, sewing before you would want to get a machine that does both. Um, I know that some people do that fully as a business, um, but we only offer the embroidery shower bonnet, I mean, uh, not shower bonnets, the embroidered um, uh, sleep bonnets. It's a satin sleep bonnet. So that's why we, uh, I needed this machine. So, but it's still a brother machine. I love brother. Um, growing up, actually, my mom had a singer, right? So a lot of people still use singer. Um, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's a good machine. It's just that pre my preference, my personal preference after having used both is the brother machine, just because I feel like it's easier to uh, understand. And it's almost like a, out of the box, you can start sewing, right? So the class I'm offering today is an intro to sewing class. And in that class, we will go over all the major parts of the machine. And here's the thing. The great thing about the class is that the major parts of a machine, a full-size machine, are pretty much the same across the board. So even if you don't have a brother machine, if you have a singer machine, you still have the same thing because symbols don't really change that much. Um, it's like the universal symbol for stop, you know. <laughs> Regardless of what country you're in, you know that that's the universal sing, uh, sim symbol. It doesn't change. And the same thing applies here with sewing machines. Regardless of where you are, it's the same thing. Um, it shows you the stitches and things like that. So we will go over that, which is why I feel like, you know, this class is very helpful for uh, folks who have never sewn before. Um, it will also give you a little more confidence if you're just like, oh my God, I don't know if I'm doing this right or whatever. We'll walk you through that. Um, anyways, uh, back to printed bonnet. This is the shower bonnet that we're introducing. How awesome is this? Oh my God, I fell in love with this spring. And here's the thing. I purchased the spring almost three months ago and have not released it. And the reason for that was because I was waiting on my supplier because they said they were going to have more Galaxy Friends. And I um, I thought they were going to have it sooner in the summer, which they have, they're not going to have till later on in August. But I was waiting for them because I wanted to offer them both as an option. But since they, you know, they announced last week that they weren't going to have it for another um, you know, a few weeks, I decided, hey, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and drop this for folks. So this is going to drop on our website. I have not given it a name yet. Well, I haven't officially given it a name yet. I do have some names twirling around in my head. And of course, as you know, my girls also chime in on what name to give the shower bonnet. So just if you're, um, if you're so inclined, vote on the name, the appropriate name for this shower bonnet right here. The size here is our regular size, which is still significantly bigger than the um uh, than a standard size shower bonnet that you would find on the market these are durable you get at least 400 showers out of it um and, and i like i always say i've had mine for well over you know 
three, two, yeah, three years, still using the same shower bonnet. This one is one that you can actually wash and reuse versus the other ones you find in the market. So yes, it's a, it's an investment, but it's an investment that will pay you over, pay you back over and over again. So it is well worth it. Anyways, visit our website at www.isowithjoy.com. Thank you for um, letting me yab and yab and yab for the last few minutes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, again, be sure to vote when this comes out. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.